All right, uh, welcome back to another creation kit tutorial. Last time we were here, we did some detailing. <clears throat> now we're going to do some more detailing, some little extra detailing, um, changing of colors, material swaps. Um, this looks, you know, terrible. <laughs> we're just going to add more and more. Uh, to the current cell. I think this is empty, huh? Yeah. See, there's a lot of emptiness. So we'll also probably add in, in ah, we'll add in the loot aspect. So right now all I can do is walk through it, open a trash can, and that's it. <coughs> so um, yeah, first let's do the color thing I mentioned. Um, you know, you look at this green. I personally really dislike this base color here. This is just the default. Looks terrible. It looks off. It's just completely trash. <clears throat> and not in the good kind of trash like all this around here. So we're going to change that. Um, per usual, this video is just <laughs> totally improv. So uh, yeah. So what I want to do so I like to work at it one room at a time. Just go ahead and select all of these the wall pieces. Da, 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 da. All of that. Be sure not to select anything else on accident. Do, 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 do. It's a pretty good amount. I'm going to go over here to the top at view, reference batch action window. Second to the bottom, set material swap. You can see on our list everything we have selected, and they're all walls and stuff. So, good. Select your material swap. You can just go through these one at a time. It'll take a second depending on how many objects you have, <coughs> you know, selected. I'm not really a fan of this one. Uh, remember, this is just some underground sort of bunker type thing. Institute, let's try that. Same kind of thing, except with a different trim. Mm, retro? I think that's white. Yeah, white, well, it's not too bad. It would go really well with rust decals. Sure, let's go with that. So be sure to exit the render window or the uh, reference window before deselecting all these. It can sometimes crash the creation kit. <coughs> so um, this looks nice. Looks a lot nicer like that. Let's do this section over here too. Let's also not forget we have this closet right here. But we can actually have the closet be a different color just so it's different. Same with this room. I guess that's fine as is. Yeah, not bad. All right, so we'll do the same thing. Retro swap. Bam. Can't even see it. There it is. <laughs> Notice how I did select this. I knew it have the same uh, material set on it. Another thing we can do is the floor and ceiling as well as these pieces. Everything can go on a theme or you can mix and match stuff if you want. Like what I'm going to do here. Yeah, might as well select it. <clears throat> so let's try which are theme two. I missed. Oh, that's that blue weirdness. Ooh, orange. Um, whatever. It's a little bit different. I don't like how this wall is just perfectly flat. Let's make it into wall two. A little bit damaged. There we go. Got this room here. Almost forgot about that. 
I'll make that the same one so that we have our main theme as well as the secondary theme. Look at that. All right, now let's do the floor. Notice I haven't gone upstairs or done the second area yet. Let's just focus on this area first. So let's not select these um, damaged floors. We already have a material swap on that from the previous video, so we don't really need to mess with it anymore. You can do that one too, of course. Um, I had a feeling I was going to select the sink or um, water fountain. Doo -doo -doo. And same with this floor here. I'm going to select everything that I know can take this material swap. Um, we're not going to touch the ceiling f for a while. Yeah, let's not touch the ceiling because it also includes the floor up here. Let's not mess with that. We'll mess with that one. These pieces. Boom, boom. Maybe just like that. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Reference batch action window again. Set it to theme swap a one. And I should slightly yeah, go beige. There we go. You have changed the theme of these rooms here. It looks pretty good. I guess we should do this room as well. I am selecting these because of this tab, this little stick out cut of metal. It needs to be painted to match the other wall pieces. So on this one, I'm going to go with the swim, uh, yeah, theme swap 02. Put the floor, debris pieces <coughs> are going to get swap 01. Right? Yeah. There we go. Different color. Looks very different. All right. Looking good. Um, and here we didn't really detail at all. Since we have this, we already have this here with a um, material swap on it. Let's just drag it on over. Rotate it around so it looks different. Make sure no tiles are floating. Unless that makes sense to. That looks fine to me. And I'm also going to grab this right here. Throw it over. Again, make sure it's not floating. Nice. Um, looks like the wall's already been damaged. Pretty good. You can also take this. Then I'm going to select this, rotate it a little bit because the ceiling is damaged. All right. Let's go ahead and save. Well, I don't think I have TV running. Okay. Just going offline on Steam real quick because they keep popping up in the bottom corner. <laughs> There we go. No more interruptions. We can now start placing objects like on the shelf here. Looks like we have some stuff on the table. Um, but you know, empty supply closet, empty storage room. Doesn't look very good. Pretty empty in here as well. So, 
I'm gonna go with office. Spell that wrong. Particularly paper debris and uh, the boxes. Where is the boxes? There it is. I like to place these up here on top of filing cabinets. Like that. Toss it around. Use different boxes too. But just adds on to the uh, overall look. So I'm going to put that around here. Make sure it's not clipping through the desk. Um, my thought is to put, let's actually throw that off to the side for a second. I'm going to type in trash because I want a, that little trash basket thing. I know it's a, um, yeah, here it is. Movable object, movable static. Yeah, there we go. Looks nice. Type in paper debris. So I want to put it on the desk. Sometimes when you place something on a desk, it'll pop through the desk, fall through it. Kind of annoying. Yeah, look at that. Then, um, oh, look, we got office paper right here. Also throw down a clipboard. Typically when you have a thought of something that would go on a desk, you can just type it in and as you would expect it to be named, and it'll just show up. Clipboard's gonna be called a clipboard. What do I feel like it's there we go. Maybe I'll move this on top of the clipboard. It's floating a little bit, it's kind of weird. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Got it to fall, but it's still. Floating on the clipboard. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna have to manually position it. <clears throat> so I wanna kinda reset it back to its initial rotations. So I'm just gonna, you just double click it. Or I mean, you right click it and properties. Set everything, there we go. So now it's totally flat on the world. Drag and drop it. Now, uh, when you bring it into the game, there's a chance it can just pop up and go crazy because it's a movable object and it's clipping maybe. So we're gonna add on a script right here called uh, disable havoc on load. So it's gonna do this for a second. Do, 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 do. Oh, thank you. Putting it behind the render window. Uh, yeah. On hit, absolutely not. On activate, sure, why not? Basically, uh, false means it won't move, true means it will move. Havoc on Z key, sure, why not? That's fine. I just don't want it to move, flop around, and the player loses it because it fell through the floor or something impossible. <laughs> Anyways, now to the shelf here, because I feel like that room is pretty decently done. I'm going to hit save first. Things that go on shelves, you know, books. I don't know, I typed in books. But I uh, like burnt books, for example. This one. Just going to toss them around, throw them around up here, scale them up so they look different. <clears throat> Yeah, that works too. 
scale it up so it covers up the garbage. There we go. Uh, overdue books. Maybe just one. The player can turn that into tokens later. Other things that go up there. You know, like burnt magazines. <clears throat> Destroyed ones. You don't want to put down a real one. Because, uh... It already exists. You don't need to add another one in there unless you're adding a whole new custom magazine that does something special. Uh, what am I looking for? Send it a material movable. Guess not. I'm just gonna type it burnt then. Yeah, here we go. Magazine burnt. It is a misc. Well, you're just adding in old, old stuff. Sticking out of there, it's kind of weird. Um, other things that can go up here. Let's see here. What could the player want if they come over here and look at it? It is possible that there can be uh well, I guess you gotta think about what kind of room this is. A waiting room? I don't know. These can also be clipboards. Not that the player really wants that, but you know. Enough. Let's put down a pencil or two. If you can spell it right, anyway. That's really all you need to do to a shelf. So that's not bad, I guess. You can also throw down. Oh, is this a. Yeah, these are static benches, so you can't actually sit on those. Um, I'm going to type in medkit. Um, let's go with a wall medkit. Throw it down over here. I'm going to turn on the angled. Move it up. And let's lock it just because. This player can see that and be like, oh, nice. All right, in this room, so we already have things on the desk. Um, you can put a lamp, I suppose. Just type in lamp. Um, you can either do a standing lamp or a lamp that goes on here. I guess I'll use a coffee table lamp. Check the pack-ins first, which is these parts, or our, these items. We have desk lamps, oil lamp, round lamp. I don't know what a round lamp is. Ah, hangs from the ceiling. <clears throat> Let's try one of these desk lamps. Hey, that works. Sure, why not? It's on the table all the way. Good enough. All right. Looks decent. Hmm. So a player comes in here. They look at straight from this door. They see a wall. Yeah. Seems pretty standard. <clears throat> There's nothing over here. Perhaps there should be some sort of light that will shine on this uh, bulletin board. So just type in light here. And again, we're going to go down to the pack-ins. I want one of those uh, ceiling lights where it's a few lights put together. I 
don't know what those are called. Track lights? I have no idea. Yeah, that, that's what I wanted. See how they're a little bright. We can move it back. I want to clip it through that. Tone it down a bit. So I'm just using the scale on the uh, marker right here. Okay. So it uh, looks a little bit better. Makes more sense to have the light on here. Except you can only really see it on one board. Yeah, I guess we should move it. Select all the pieces and go like that. Right there in the center. All right, then. Not bad. Uh, something else that's common in a uh, some sort of waiting room thing is a, <laughs> a vending machine. For example, a um, like an Edatron. I forget. I think that's what they're called. Or a Nuka Cola machine. Let's do the Edatron right up here. Pretty sure that's what it's called. Eat a Tron. Eat o Tron. Edatron. Yeah. See. That's not what I wanted. Uh, Edertron dirty. Let's see, not bad. I know there's a bench right below it, but I'm starting to think we should get rid of that bench. It hardly makes sense anyway, sitting on this. <laughs> So the kids can get to it. There we go. Um, put it right there. That's kind of high. Right there. Again, if you ever see how tall a person is, that's how tall they are. So we got the Edertron in there. We have a water fountain. Not really seen a place to put a Noka Cola vending machine. Unless we did some redecorating. I think this will be fine. So this seems to be the not a waiting room, but more of like a relaxation room or I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, next up, closet. Uh one of the things I wanted to go over was the doors. Kind of forgot about. So let's select all the doors, even the broken ones. Boom, door. Um, so we can change the color of that as well. We're going to apply the retro theme one on it. It's going to make the door like a kind of purple. Hit do. And. I think I did it. Yeah, see? See, it was red before, and now it's like a kind of dark purple. It goes with the theme. There, see? Oh, yeah, this door as well. If you want to do a material swap on a door or object, just one of them, you don't need the reference bash action window. You can just do, you know, right click properties, extra material swap. Oh yeah, you can double click. Some, I'm used to it, but I have to think about it. I need to explain it. <laughs> huh, okay. Um, so that's looking pretty good. <clears throat> so looking down this hall, 
I'm not really pleased with how lit it is. It's really bright all the way through. So I'm going to press M to bring up the markers so that I can adjust the lighting on this one. Turn it down a bit. Yeah, turn it down a bit. In fact, let's actually just delete these entirely and replace this if, uh, by pressing Control F with it selected. You can see it's called Ceiling Lamp O2 On. I want it O2 Off. No, I, I did that wrong. I just selected the first one. It's supposed to be the second one. O2 Off. And hit OK. And there we go. It's not on. Not like that one is. Uh, there might be also like a broken one. Not sure. No, guess not. So that's not bad. All right, anyways, so back to this supply closet. Common things in here, you know, tools. So I'll just type in tool, uh, sort, and then uh, container, which is these. I like to use the pre word tool case and toolbox. So just drop those in there. Toolbox. Just want to check something here. Yeah, I didn't think so. <coughs> All right. Just lock it because no real reason. And also lock this door. No real reason. All right. What else should we add to this? We can add um, individual tools like hammers. A wrench. Screwdriver. And also add a med kit. Just the standard one right here. What else can we add here? Um, you know, uh, light bulbs, I suppose. Just an uh, off light bulb. I'm probably going to be misc. Or, uh, yeah, misc right here. Spares. So I'm going to hit Control H so it falls. Duplicate it. Just make sure those are off. <laughs> I also had a broken one just because. Oh, I don't really actually see a change in that. Anything different? Not really. There, that was on the floor. Good enough. <clears throat> Next we can add, uh, let's, let's see what else. What else sounds good here? Can add a mop. Just drop that in there like that. Get a buckets. Uh, I'm gonna use an enamel bucket here. A normal metal bucket here. And another metal bucket for the mop. Let me add some, um, I guess, paper debris. Just because this shelf is way too clean. Oh, it's floating. This one's also floating. Uh, 
We can also add more <clears throat> uh, trash with uh, debris. So I also want um, paper in general, like the boxes again, the filing boxes. It's all just clutter that doesn't necessarily have to make sense, but does some, somewhat make sense. It doesn't need to bring up any unwanted attention. I'm going to add in some crates, just like the wooden crates. That's also commonly found. Um, oh, I actually put an S at the end of that. Let's put crate a one just right here in the corner. Add another one, resize it, rotate a little bit. So, yeah, I want to make sure that's on the floor all the way. Yeah, that's not bad. Then we can, uh, oh, where'd it go? that paste that if you have an object that has been locked in the edit window you know this window uh, if you copy and paste it it won't copy over it being locked you'll have to reset that again so yeah there we go now this room is a little bit more interesting another thing I like to add is a uh, you know, duct tape. I guess I don't want duct, I want tape. Oh, it's going to be a misc object. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Looks nice. Need to get rid of that, so I'm going to Alt H to get rid of the Havoc. There we go. Um, something else I wanted to add was, uh, <clears throat> let's see here, it's at a um, vent. Just a little, let's see, big event, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, let's see here, let's type in, uh, I guess, Grieb. Grieve is weird misc stuff. So let's do like that. Scale down. There we go. That looks nice. So yeah, not not a bad room we got here. There's no light in here though, so uh, we can add a um one of the hanging cage lights. So just type in light. We're just going to use the pack in again. Nice and handy. So hanging cage. We will adjust the brightness in a minute. Just trying to figure out how far down I want it. And I also want it centered. Looks pretty centered for this room. That's good. It's interesting. Let's hit save. Now I'm going to go over here. And this is more storage, so less little bit of objects, more crate stuff, office paper, debris, boxes, you know, more stuff like that. So I'm just going to set this in the corner. So do this as well. I still want to allow the player to, you know, walk between the aisles. We can mix in some stuff in there that the player can get. Uh, question. Nope, didn't do anything. All right. Uh, let's go to the container area. Wood crate. This may look familiar. This one's going to be empty. Yeah, see? 
we'll add in a couple of these. So the player might be interested in checking it out. And then do that one right there. I'll add in more office supplies or boxes. Can I just put these all over the place? You should rotate them. Don't want to look like you just copy and pasted everything all around. I'm also going to throw other things in there so it doesn't need to fill in all the space. Oop, pre war box, don't want that. Handy, they give you plenty of different boxes. I guess plenty being three. They're also uh, damaged boxes. Um, that's probably up here. Yeah, right here. They're open, as you can see. So you have some variety in there. Press Alt H so that you can <coughs> place them with the havoc because they can be a bit weird looking. See like that. See that's just a piece of cardboard. More cardboard. There we go. Um, I want more complete boxes. Yeah, like that. See something moved the shelf, so things are gonna be damaged on it more than usual. Throw them around. So there's so many of them, you don't really need to copy and paste them. It's kind of just debris and trash everywhere. Garbage pre-war box again. Um, we can now go back to like, uh, let's see, what other things can be on here? I guess just more crates, just the wedding crates, resized down quite a bit. This is a long crate, so we can take up a whole shelf. Look at that. Put another one here, but different size, a little bit smaller than the other one. This one's a tall one, so it's going to weigh down. You don't want things sticking out like that because you don't want to prevent the player from being able to walk into it or walk by it. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, not bad. This is a storage room. Why not throw a safe in there? Just because. A good thing to do is type in loot and that will just show up all kinds of different uh, boxes different containers. I can throw down a cooler. Why not? I want to throw down a safe. I suppose I can put it right here. And because it's a safe, be sure to lock it. Um, yes. It's a noticeably more detailed room. I just want to grab that over there. Throw it down. 
I just noticed these are colliding. There we go. I'd say that's pretty decent. Uh, let's add more of the damaged boxes around. But on the floor, these guys here. So, bam. Oh, I placed it on, uh, impaled it on the shelf. So, they want to sit on the floor and not on the tile. So we may not be able to do this. So well, that worked out pretty well. <laughs> hmm. I suppose that's fine. We'll add in uh, more decals and stuff to really make the place pop. Let's hit save. <clears throat> All right, so we pretty much just went through the bottom, the uh, first story. We made a, quite a lot of changes. Added more detail, looks nice. Uh, we've been through this already, so we don't really need to worry about it besides the material swap. Oh, a little early there. Um, yeah, there is a shortcut to bring it up the reference batch action window. <coughs> That's what we control selecting in spacebar. We'll bring it up. So material swap. Um, one of the ones I like to go with is the hallway swap. It's more of like a rusty look. See right there, but the problem is this one didn't get it. Oh, weird. So yeah, it's all rusty looking. Hmm. We could have more debris in here than this, so uh, let's do that real quick. With uh. I wanted that this. Uh, I wanted to add in, so let's go uh, debris. I'm gonna go high tech, so H I T. Debris pile one? No, not that. Six? Closer. I can use that. Seven. Be sure to place it on the ground below the tile. Eight, the thing's really long. Yeah, it is. Make sure it's not popping through the air. And then we use one, two, three, and four to uh, smooth it out. Five is little chunks. May or may not help. Seem fine though. Just debris. Good stuff. It looks a lot more detailed when you throw that in there. Also going to throw it up here as well, just a little bit of trash. Uh, we have light popping through, or is it just this? No, it's definitely from below here. Um, so let's test that. Yeah, see now it's gone. So let's uh, fix that. I have to remember how to do that. We need to create a light box. Uh, let's see here. 
Click that, click anywhere. Okay. Let's do some experimenting because I haven't done this in a long time. Where did it go? There we go. So uh, you want your light selected first, then you click on that the box up here. Uh, where'd it go? Well, I lost it. Oh, this one right here. What this is going to do is give you a box here. It'll auto throw down this. So I'm going to throw this right here. You don't want it going. It'll make it to where the light does not pass through. Uh, the box. So we're just going to put it right here. We don't want it clipping through the floor. This floor, I mean. Um, I don't need it to leave the room. Put it on the other side of the door. And we'll automatically, you can also create them manually. And when you want to do that, you want to make sure you're, you select your light. And you're going to go to linked reference and you need to link it to the box with the light box and link keyword. But um, I just notice I close it early. Let's bring it down a little bit. Anyways, so now you can see it's not popping up through the floor. And that's a really handy trick to have, just because the game doesn't entirely realize the best way to light a room, because things can pop through and, you know. If you have a hole in the floor like this, by all means, you know, keep the light going through the floor. <laughs> <clears throat> so there you go, you learn about light boxes too. Uh, really handy. So let's hit save. All right, so we're now up here. I feel like this area is done, except, well, it's just that this is way too clean looking. I do want to add this over here. Oh, the areas I've not selected. It just adds a little bit of detail. So yeah, we are in here in this small little cafeteria thing with bathrooms connected and uh, vines falling through the ceiling. Also have some roots. Roots aren't very big, noticeable. Remember last time we put them in here, but we didn't want them to prevent the player from walking through the vine. Doing that. Bigger, make them more noticeable. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so it's not looking bad. Let's add in our stuff. So, like, you know, trays, for example. Uh, dinner tray. Also in the cafeteria tray. Maybe we can throw it over here. Forgot I had the havoc on, but it kind of worked out. Not bad. I'll set that over here. Let's 
Throw a couple on the ground. Try to rotate some. Just throw it over there. Throw down some cups. A coffee cup. I mean, that pretty bland, but <clears throat> not much else you can really do. I think I'm going to take this, put it on here, and just add some detail, put it sideways like that. Yeah, not bad. Don't really have anything to put in there. So we're in the cafeteria, might as well change these gross walls to something more pleasant. Um, oh, did not mean to touch that. <laughs> I didn't know that could fall from the ceiling. There we go. There, that looks better. Yeah, let's disable the habit because that's really annoying to click on. Okay, so that's all the, yeah, that's all the walls. So let's bring it up into, uh, let's see, they're eating. We can go with uh, lab theme swap. It's a better looking green. And it's not just, you know, copy of what's below. I'm going to do the same thing here. Actually, we're not going to touch the floors because touching these floors would result in changing these the ceiling here because it's the same uh, reference. So that's cool, looking through the floor. Over here we have a hole in the... <laughs> so let's go into here. You can do the same thing, change it up. You can go with, let's retro swap three. Yeah, it looks like bathroom, whatever. You can hit save. Adjust the doors. Can look nicer. Can replace them with the lab doors. All right, let's put up the bathroom signs. So um, let's type in bathroom. See, there's just a nice, easy sign there. Uh, not really seeing it. Let's type in sign. Um, factory general restroom. Can't see it. Go through the wall. Yes. Um, let's have the male and female one. Uh, let's see. Which one's which? Which one has urinals? This one does. This is the male. 
Not sure what happened to the uh, sign. I threw it down, but I don't know where it went. Okay. Go. I'm just going to replace it with female, bam. There we go. Looks pretty good. Here, looks pretty good. All right, so I remember I felt like the lighting was too much in the bathroom, so... Just take a couple of those. I'm just gonna go with that. Replace those with the uh, broken ones. And get rid of their light sources. And it still looks a little over the top. So I'm gonna get rid of these. As well, oh, just that. I think I'd also get rid of that. All right, looks a lot better now. And then this we're not gonna worry about. Okay, so it's been almost an hour. We've made a lot of changes, but could still make plenty of more. So one of the things I'm gonna do is add in a, a um, camera attach trigger. So uh, you just want to type in camera. I'm going to add in the dust that you see on the, you know, floating in the air. So that's just going to be this little box called camera touch, uh, attach dust small. Press two to adjust it. Uh, for now, I'm just going to have it cover our area. Basically, how it works is when the player walks into this trigger or spawns in it from another door, uh, <coughs> it will put this effect over the view that the player sees. So that's going to be really handy. What we're going to do now is um, some, uh, add a layer. So in your view, drop down menu, select layers. It'll bring up this. I'm going to click new layer. We're going to call it uh, our, in our cell, Mason into two effects. I'm going to press A or click A in this field. So we want to edit. This is the active layer, so when we add things, it'll add it to this layer instead of the default. We're going to go over here to dust. I'm actually going to type in mist. We're going to start adding in these things that really make it pop. So let's take a look at this for example. I'm going to turn back on that. All right, uh, let's go dusty dim, for example. You drop this in here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a, if you press M, you can see the giant, you know, crossing. This thing. <laughs> but uh, it adds a dust pockets, pretty much. 
Uh, it's really good to put under light. So you can probably see it I'm going there. Let's put it right there, for example. Press in to really add it in there. Uh, let's go down the hall. Throw down a dim. Add one to the storage room. Just duplicate it, move it around. Add in here too. Bring that over here. Yeah, I can, really, I can put it over here actually. Um, let's go with dimmer right here. And uh, you can't see it, but the dust moves like a like it's falling, very nice and slowly. Looks really nice and really pretty. Uh, for example, here's uh, I'll put this bright one down. I can't really see it very well. So you can't see it, but if I turn on the effects, you might be able to see it flowing downward. Of course, add in, in the bathroom, and a dim over there, and a dim right here. The reason why we put this on a layer is because it's, once you put it down, you can really, you can't really edit the area anymore because you can't click on anything without accidentally clicking on these. Oh, yep, see, I can't click on the door. So, just uh, hit this button here, and now we can, it will hide that layer. So you can bring it in and out. Looks a lot nicer. Um, so I think that'll be good for now. Uh, we can take a look at it in game. Uh, save, of course. And, um,. Yeah, let's check it out in game. Okay, so uh, here we are in the um, cell. Just take a look around. You can see the dust floating on the screen. It's fancy. <laughs> so here you can see the uh, dust falling. It looks pretty good. Um, here we have. If I only had a bobby uh, pin. No bobby pins. Right. Well, I. Uh, there we go. I don't have any bobby pins on this, so. Looks pretty good. Notice the light isn't traveling beyond the door or the door frame. Very nice. Walk on through here. Plenty of dust. Stuff to loot. Let's check out up here now. Nice debris everywhere. Uh, let's see. Uh, some stuff was floating. Looking pretty good in here. Uh, yeah, notice the uh, light isn't coming oh look at that okay so that's a problem you see that weirdness sticking up from the ground that is the lamp from the uh right here going through the uh you know the ceiling into the floor up here so that's a good thing to uh keep an eye out for I'll have to fix that. Um, in here, looks pretty standard. Can look through. It looks a lot better. Got some stuff all around. 
too many problems walking through here. Not bad. Plain dust, it can drop on down. All right, so not bad, looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so uh, next time we'll take a look at decals, acoustic spaces, um, just stuff that really gets the extra detail in there. Might need messing with uh, mess with some water, some grebe, extra wall detail, um, and then the video after that might be nav meshing, and then after that, well, nav meshing and. Uh, That'll probably be the last video for this cell. I have meshing and um, optimization of the cell. So, uh, yeah. Hope you liked the tutorial, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. On the left, you'll see more Fallout videos. And on the right are some more Op Salvo-specific videos. Check out facebook.com slash neehermods to stay up to date. And, yeah. Subscribe or whatever. Let's get to a thousand. Sedante promised me something at a thousand subs, so yeah. <clears throat>